you are the first woman prime minister in the world. Does this have any effect? Do you think it makes your influence less strong or more strong? I should say more strong. Do you think that they would be more capable of solving the problems of the world than men are so far? That's left to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was incredible. She shed her reticence, her shyness. She came forward and on every political platform she spoke. My father was Prime Minister first from 1956 to 59 of Sri Lanka or Ceylon as it was known then. Sadly, his enemies assassinated him. My mother had no intention whatever of going into politics. Her three children were fatherless and she wanted to devote all her time to bringing them up. But there was such a pressure from the party and the people in general that finally she agreed because she was convinced that it was her duty. My mother's party won the election in 1960. But right-wing forces started saying the nastiest possible things, running down women. How can she lead a political party? But she was utterly unruffled. She said, oh, don't worry about it. She carried on. As for us, we three felt, my God, we've lost our father to politics. Now, are we going to lose our mother as well? But she never forgot that she was a mother. She took on the mantle of the world's first woman prime minister very comfortably. She took to it like a duck to water. I myself was quite amazed how she became passionately fond of the international scene. She played a very important role there. The first woman premier is Mrs. Bandaranaika of Ceylon. I noticed in no time at all the way she was carrying herself with a great sense of authority. When she used to walk into cabinet meetings, she had her files clutched like that in her left arm and walked with her head held high. She came across in a very strong way when she was negotiating one-to-one -one with leaders of other countries. I have never, ever seen her losing her temper. She would get angry, but in a very calm, stern manner, she would say what she had to say, which was far more effective. She was very proud of her second daughter, my sister Chandrika. My mother could see that she was a born leader. Wearing a peacock blue sari, the new president took her oaths of office in all three of the country's main languages. She was overjoyed when my sister became the president of Sri Lanka. She saw the legacy that her husband left behind, which she took on from there. The mantle had now fallen on her daughter Chandrika. The world's first woman Prime Minister, Sirima Bandaranaika of Sri Lanka, has died at the age of 84. Mrs Bandaranaika had been voting in the island's general election. Her daughter is the current president. Being the world's first female Prime Minister was very important to her. She felt very proud that she'd done it. Do you hope to see more women in politics? Yes, I hope to. 